in order to move to Marquette, when you fall in love this, with this area, you have to be pretty creative with how you're going to survive. Lucky. You know? Yeah, <laughs> creative and lucky. And so there's an incredible entrepreneurial spirit in this town. Bringing back buildings to life is really a, a joy to me, really. I don't know why. I just like that history stuff. We sort of buy buildings and then fill them. A backwards way of doing a startup businesses. Hi, I'm uh, Jen Ray. And Tom Veer. We are people, people of, of market. market. <laughs> we want to say we are, right? We are. Before, so we keep the we going, don't we? I am or is it I am or we are? <laughs> I think you're overthinking Hi. it. <laughs> Donkers is a 125-year-old uh, family business. We do breakfast, lunch, and for the most part, but uh, sell a lot of chocolate and homemade sweets. The Delft is um, another restaurant that we opened up uh, in 2017. It's new American restaurant, um, more upscale. Nice meals, great cocktails. It's always been a sort of comical thing when people ask us what we do. <laughs> we have own a candy store, you know? The idea of rehabbing these buildings and reusing them for a product that's uh, contemporary, which is really a lot of fun. But, uh, the restaurants are sort of the thing that happened after that, but the, the construction <laughs> is really what I, I enjoy. See the construction and the smell of construction, that's a lot of fun too, but. Most of them have been very yeah. good. There's a few bad ones, but I'd say they're probably 10 to 12, I'm not really yeah. sure. The first one was Barriga Street, which yeah. when we moved up here, I was like, oh, we got to have a strong co-op. They really wanted to move, and it turned out to be great for everybody. I kind of feel like it, you can't expand beyond until you have a strong sort of center. When you have people believe in their downtown and Main Street in a small town, that's where the community is. I grew up in the Chicago area, and the Grange is a fun little town. Went to school in Indiana and worked at the Chicago Board of Trade for about 20 years. It was fast, furious, exciting, a lot of fun. Grew up in Evanston, Illinois, just right outside of Chicago. Grew up camping up here in the UP, and so we moved up my senior year in high school. I went off to college, traveled, ended up in Chicago where I met Tom. We actually got married up here in 91. Went back and forth. You know, move out west, where do you go? And just didn't want to move far from family. And when you have an incredible lake, incredible university, hospital, a real sense of community up here. We were like, all right, I guess we're doing this. Let's do it. So we moved up here in 2001. We didn't bring our kids up here. They were very young, they had three kids. And I've always known that Marquette is, um, it's just a place to be. Just being contained into a place that has most everything there because it has to have it. Everything else is 300 miles or 150 miles away, so you have to have that community. And we do. <laughs> it, it's, it is the community. I mean, everybody talks about the beauty and the nature, and yes, that's absolutely a piece of why we're all here, but it's the people. I'm Jen. And I'm Tom. We made a Marquette. We made a Marquette. <laughs> Good job, bud. Try it again. I think you nailed it. All right. <laughs> okay.